Well, here we go with another card. So this one is, oh, here it is. So I used the ladybug punch, okay, and punched out the little body and then used the wings, uh, cut them out from vellum. All right, and this uh, die cut happens to come from uh, Stitch So Sweetly and then the Hive 3D embossing folder. So I cut this paper just a little shorter this way. Normally this layer would be three and three quarters by five. So I left the five length, but I only did it three and a half so that when I cut it, I could leave these spaces. And I just thought that added something to the card. Okay. All right, so let's see what we got here. So we have our embossed paper, and I'm just going to use my trimmer and trim it at a half an inch, okay. So we'll just cut off half an inch, and then we'll move it over and cut off one inch. and then leave the rest, okay? All right, let me just do, I have one more that I'm gonna do for a spare. So I'm just, while well, I've got this here. So that was a half, one inch, and then leave the rest. Okay, all right, so these, so you have your thick white base, all right, all scored for you, and then we'll just give it a good crease there, and again, if sometimes the way it cuts or whatever, you just have that little piece, don't worry about it. Your black can go right on the front, okay? And then before we get too far with these daffodil pieces, all right, there's that. So actually you can put on your biggest piece at the top love seal, but man, when it sticks, it sticks, and it sticks to my fingers, it pulls off the paper, whatever. Anyway, so we've got it up there at the top, and then you can take the little one, for the bottom, down here. like that. Okay. Then for this one, where you're going to take your gingham ribbon and you just need enough to tuck it behind and then you need your next another small piece. All right, so let me show you how this is gonna work. Um, I was hoping I had a, oh, I do. Here we go. I'll have this just so that when I flip it over, I won't get sticky everywhere. I love my silicone mat. I use it a lot, actually. Um, okay, so we're just going to Tack that to the back. Don't pull too hard because you don't want this curving necessarily. Okay. And then just tuck that to the back. All right. And then add a little more adhesive. There. And then this piece can go right 
in between those, leaving a, as, as close to, to a matching border in between as you can. The reason you do those first two is because it's a lot easier and you're less likely, this way you can adjust the gaps to be even, whereas if you started and went right down, you might have to take something apart. <laughs> okay, and that is no fun. Okay, so then you're gonna take another small piece of ribbon and just tuck it under here, so like this, and tie a little knot. Okay, like that, and then just trim those ends. That. Trim this one like that. There. Okay. So you have your little little knot over there. All right. Now we have our die cut and our memento block. This class was heavy on the memento black ink. I was in a black ink mood, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so this where would I be without a friend like you comes from one of the celebration sets called Special Moments. So with a $100 qualifying order, you could get this. And so I used here. There's there's just lots of, I love this happy birthday font. I love the mixed fonts. There's just, this was a really fun set. All right, so there's that. And I was looking for a, um, a greeting that had the word B in it. I just, you know, when you're doing a B card, you gotta say B. You just, you just do. You know, no, nope, that's not where I want that. This I want here, and then one up. All right, this will be better. Okay. There. Okay. So now we are going to add that up here. in the corner, not too far in the corner. And you kind of want to bridge that a little bit. So not way up at the top. Okay, so there's that. Now let's make our little B, all right? So I highly recommend the, whoa, the liquid glue, okay. Um, either in this container or I have it in um, a really tiny tipped container. So either, either way, but you want small, okay? You gonna fit? No, nope, you're just a little too short, but you, you will work. So I cut all these little, um, I think they're eighth inch wide yellow strips out of daffodil cardstock. I just took a piece and just every, you know, slid it over every eight inch, eighth of an inch. Every eight inches, right? Anyway, so then we'll just put some stripes on our B. Like that. And as soon as they're dry, I will turn the bee over and um, trim those off. So there we go. And I think one more. Maybe that little one will go across. Probably not. Uh, not quite. Just a teeny bit too short. Okay. 
Okay. So then we go here. Okay. There. All right, so I'm going to actually set that one up here, and I'm going to do my other one. Um, I always cut for one extra so I can do the samples, but this time I cut for two extra just in case because I was so late in posting this class that I didn't want somebody to say, oh, can I come at the last minute? And because I hate to have to say no. I just hate saying no. So I wanted to have one extra. So that's going to give me a couple spares that I can use. And that's never a bad thing. So while we're here, we might as well just get this one done too. There we go. Last strip. All right, so we'll let those dry up there for a second. Then we will put this top on so that it doesn't dry out or get glue in the things. And then we'll do the wings. Now, to give the wings a little shimmer and sparkle. I'm not sure if you can see that. Can you see that? A little bit. Um, of course, a little wink of Stella is a good thing. So we're going to just give those wings a little shimmer and sparkle. Okay. And this is alcohol <clears throat> based in there, so you should be able to just, it shouldn't take that long to dry. Now what I did with these is I just took my bone folder and just curved the wing just a tiny bit like that so that the wings would have a little bit of curve to them, okay? Then I took, oops, let me just turn these over. So you just flip them over and trim from the back. Oh, did you hear the heat kick on? All right. So like that. And you could even, if you wanted to, you could add some wink to the antennas. You know, like, you could go a little crazy with the wink of stubble. I often do. It is definitely my favorite embellishment. Okay. So let's do this one as well. So I'm just going to curl that around like that. And then we're just going to do this side. Now we have our little bees, and the wink of Stella helps to disguise the adhesive, but using, I used as skinny a line of glue as I could right along, come on, right along the very, very, very edge, like that, and then just put those wings right on. And once it dries, you don't notice it too bad. But there really isn't an, a good way to get the, the, the wings on um, without... See how those wings just pop up a little bit? You might need to 
help them just a little if they got flattened while you were coloring them or anything. All right. All right, let me do this one. So tiny, tiny bit of glue along the edge like that. that on. And just hold it for a few seconds. It, it dries pretty fast. And if you don't have that, <laughs> well, the liquid glue, the mono, mono adhesive, uh, the Tombow liquid glue. Um, otherwise known to many of us demonstrators as green top glue, because the top is green. Um, or shortened even more to green glue. Not that the glue is actually green, but you know. All right, so now what you wanna do is figure out where you're gonna put this. So I'm gonna put a little bit, and I may actually use the liquid, a little bit along most of his head and along this side of his body. Then over on this side, I'm gonna add a dimensional because this side needs to be lifted up. And if I had been thinking, I would have gotten my black dimensionals, had those out, just wasn't thinking. Okay, so we're gonna just add a little of that glue over here. Did I take that off? Yes. Because here, he's, um, supported by the, the uh, greeting that is popped up. But over here, you need to help support that body that's not on, that's not supported, okay. All right, so there it is. So cute. Hope you like that one. Oh, sorry. <laughs>